Hi everyone, this is Michelle at michellesizemore.com. I'm a Creative Memories Advisor and today you'll learn how to make these borders using the Citrus Slices Border Maker Cartridge and cardstock from Creative Memories. I also use the custom cutting system with the circles, which I'll show you in a few minutes. All right, I'm gonna set everything aside. Today, I'm gonna make this one and it looks like it would be super simple, like it would be a matter of cutting two of these and layering them on top of each other, but it's kind of not. Because if you do that, then you get little white, uh, you know, this part doesn't get filled in. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do that and then put circles behind here so that you get that solid orange showing through. Okay, let's set this aside. I'm going to grab my orange cardstock. I store my shades of orange in a Power Project folder from Creative Memories. These are really awesome. You can put your big pieces in here. And just I just put all the shades of orange together and then smaller pieces can go in this pocket and then these two pockets and then you have long pockets on the back for your strips. I also store all of my collections in here like um, by theme. So if I have a summer collection, I would store it all here. The stickers would go here. The oops, the embellishments and things would go here. Um, borders and things could go here and then the pieces of paper could go here. So, all right, I'm going to look on the back of this and pick, I've put two pieces back here that I'm going to use, a darker orange and a really light orange. I'm going to set this aside. And first, I'm going to make a strip of these orange slices using this lighter orange cardstock. I'm going to put my cartridge in here with my little metal pieces sticking out. And then your tray comes closed like this. You're going to open your tray and you'll hear it pop in place. Then you place your cardstock inside. You lift the arm and line it up with the edges of the gray tray that you just popped out. And close the magnetic arm and plop your tray into place underneath. You'll hear it pop in place. Okay, then you put your cardstock in this slit right here. And I start closest to me and then work my way up it you can do it however you want but that works for me I make sure it's lined up with these two little notches here there's a little blue notch and a little white notch and it just fits into place these these metal pieces fit into grooves underneath and it's just like it goes in like a puzzle piece okay and then I'll kind of lean over it I like to stand up when I do this because I do need to put some firm pressure on the palm of my hand it's not hard but just a little bit of a firm push and then I bring it out plop it back in place the notches match up bring it out plop it in place the notches match up and do the same thing all the way to the end until you have a long strip now save your scraps because I'm going to talk to you about something you can do with those at the end okay move all that away so that's how you cut your strip of slices and you do the same thing with this color cardstock. I've already done it just to save time. It works the same exact way. Okay, now, there is. this is the trick. So, if you were to lay the, layer this, like it looks like it would be so easy to do, you, would, you could layer this and get like a little shadow effect. And that would be fine. I mean, you, that's pretty like it is. And you could use it like it is where just a little bit of that darker orange pokes through. But I really wanted solid orange behind all these little holes. So I'm going to show you the trick that I did. I just sort of figured it out last night to get that. Okay, so I need to get a piece like this. And to do that, I punched out my darker orange. I'm going to grab my micro scissors. These are great for getting in all the little grooves and things. And I'm just going to cut off the little outside border edge. So I'm cutting off all of those little holes. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'll do about three of these just to show you how I did it. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that because it's in my way. And I'm going to do one more. And then I would just do that all the way down on the dark orange until you get a piece like this. And it kind of, it's kind of like a slinky, but you kind of, I would just sort of take it and gently kind of 
rub it, bend it a little bit. It's very pliable and get it to where it sort of can straighten up for you. Okay. Now I'm just going to take this lighter orange and put a little strip of tape runner, little bits of tape runner on the back. I'm using my repositionable tape runner. Do it just on the outside edges because that's the part that's going to stick to that darker orange part that I just cut out. Okay, and I'm using this on cardboard because this comes out in little clear dots. You can hardly even see them. And that's the point because when you're using things with all these little intricate cutouts, you don't really, if I were to use the regular tape runner, white little things would poke out and you see them underneath and it's just hard. If I used a glue pen, it just kind of gets wet and messy. So to me, this is the perfect adhesive for crafting and it's pretty much all that I use. Okay, I'm just going to lay this down and kind of get it straight. And then I'm just going to turn this over, the sticky parts on the back. And I'm just going to stick it down so that just a little bit of that orange, darker orange shows out past my orange slices, okay? And I would do that all the way down, all the way down. And then until you get this look, right? So that's what this is. And just to save time, I'm not going to do all of that right now. But um, And then what I would do... Well, let me back up here a little bit. I am gonna keep it on a few. I'm gonna do this one more time. I didn't press that down to stick it down enough. Okay, now let's flip it over. And I'm going to do that and stick it down. So you only see a few, but I would do it all the way down, okay? And it's stuck down, so I should be able to flip it over. Okay, and then what I need to do is have something to cover up to go behind behind these to make it look like solid orange. So the easiest thing I found to do was to use the custom cutting system and I'm going to make little circles. So here's my custom cutting system. <coughs> I used I used the smallest circle and the green blade because I want the size of this green circle. So this is just a template just a guide. I'm going to call this a guide. This is a template. So I matched up the numbers. Number one matches with number one. That just means that this is the one you're supposed to use. It matches up with the black lines. Then all of these little colored lines are just showing you which blade to use. We have a red blade, which would cut closest in. A green blade cuts in the middle and the blue blade cuts the smallest. I want the size of the green blade, the green dotted line. So I'm going to use the green blade. Okay, so I want some circles in this darker orange. So you put these two little things that stick out inside your track. And you just go all the way around and you get a circle. So I'm going to cut a few circles. And you want to kind of go as close to the other one as you can so, and close to the edge so you don't waste your cardstock. Okay, so that's how you do that. It's really easy. And then all I'm going to do is put those behind on the back. Okay, so I'm going to um, need my cardboard again. Again, I work on cardboard just so I don't get adhesive on my table. So I'm going to put some tape runner on the back and again since i'm using the repositionable i can go right over all of these little cutouts and it only sticks to where i need it to stick so i'm going to kind of be liberal with it and then i'm going to put one here you want to come right under where your this orange is so that it doesn't stick out past it Okay, I'm gonna do another one. I've already put my adhesive. I'm just gonna rub it to make it stick and do another one. Okay, rub them to make them stick and then you get the look that you want. You just, you, I'm gonna cut off this little extra on the end. Okay, and that's how you get that look. It's really easy. And then to cut it the size that you want it to be, you, you can just determine how wide you want it to be. You just grab your straight trimmer 
and you put it in here and then this left hand side dotted line right here let me grab my scissors is where the blade's going to come down so you just determine how much of this you want to see as like a little solid piece right here it's up to you you can make it wide or you can make it skinny i did it about like this and then you just make sure it lines up with your line all the way down so that it's straight. Close it and cut. And then that's how I did that. Okay. And you would do the same thing with the other colors. Of course, to get lemons, you'd use light yellow, dark yellow. This could be like kiwi or lime. I think it's more like limes. Um, light green, dark green. And then to get the watermelon, there was another little trick I did. Um... I wanted black to look like seeds, so I put the black circles underneath, and then this part that I cut out was done in green. I actually did two layers of green because I wanted it to look a little bit more like thicker watermelon rind, so I did... I did one layer of green under and then offset it and did another. So that's really easy. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you have a wonderful day. 